So God bless you and thank you for joining me today. You know, I have been out of town and of course so much has happened since I've been out of town with what's going on with Israel, with what's going on in the southeastern portion of the United States with Hurricane Helene. It is just tragic. So of course when I go to town I have videos that I need to schedule while I'm away and then I had um, kind of like a two-day thing um, on a king and then we had Rosh Hashanah and so I didn't want to ignore those events that happened in Israel. I didn't want to ignore the events that happened with the hurricane. So oftentimes what I will do, and I know we've got some topics that I've promised such as the prophets, etc. That has to, those videos have to air soon. Um, oftentimes when something happens, I just get on here and I spend the time in prayer. So that's what I'm going to do for this particular video today. And maybe you're a person who wouldn't pray out loud. That was my story. I was terrified. I would have never, ever seen myself doing this in this format ever in my entire life. So if you are that person who is afraid to pray out loud, you can ask for courage, but you can just come into agreement with this prayer. And so I'm going to spend the rest of the time here um, together in prayer. And if you have your own prayer, that's wonderful. If you want to just come in agreement with this prayer, that's fine too. So, Father God, we just come before you. And this video has been hard to make. This is my third or fourth attempt because when we... Hmm, when we see the destruction and we see the devastation, it is so hard to watch others suffering. And with all that is going on in the southeastern portion of the United States, in all that's going on with Israel, we know that there are people that are hurting. We know that there are people that are suffering and we know that people have lost their lives. So, Lord, we come before you together today asking one, that you would comfort those around you, no matter the circumstances that have befallen them. But if you could come around these people and just put someone in their path to love on them or show them that you love them and carry them and be with them and comfort them during this horrific time, some of these people have lost everything. They've lost family members. They don't know what to do. And it's times like this that we as believers, we don't really know what to do either. But prayer is always an answer because you tell us to pray. So we have these people who are struggling. We have these people who are suffering. These people who, who need to know that you love them. And I know that you love them. And I hope that they will seek you because I know if they seek you that they will find you. And when the whole world seems like it's falling apart, we know that it, that it isn't and that the peace that is in us is only because of you and the peace that we have that we can get up every day and continue is because you are in us. And so if there's any way that we can be of service to anybody at this time, let that happen. Let that manifest in such a way that we can speak to somebody. Let it only be that the words we say to them they know came from God because you told us to tell them something, something that they needed to hear. And so for all the people who are missing loved ones or are hurt or injured or scared or frightened, Lord, let us be an opportunity to love on them, to show them the light. Let us be an opportunity to share what it says in your word and to share with them the hope that is in us, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, in advance for answering our prayer and for being with these people. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have given us and for all the provisions that you have given to us. And we thank you that there are people that are out there being the hands of feet of Christ and they're loving people and they're providing them clothing and shelter and food. Thank you, Lord, for all the amazing blessings. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.